Apple revived one of its more beloved technologies, MagSafe, at its annual iPhone reveal on Tuesday, showing off a new line of smartphones with magnets built into the back for fast and sturdy connection to wireless chargers, snap-on cases, and other accessories. While the old MagSafe was a safety feature for charging laptops without worrying about damaging a machine when the cord was ripped out, the new MagSafe is a savvy, smartphone-centric accessory play for Apple. It lets the company build a new gadget ecosystem for the iPhone that it controls entirely, just like the Lightning and Apple's other proprietary ports and cables, while also offering tangible benefits like faster 15W charging. But while MagSafe now seems like a nice complementary feature to the newly announced iPhone, it paves the way for Apple to make magnetic wireless charging the centerpiece for how we charge all our devices moving forward. Just look at the Apple's new MagSafe Duo charger a wireless charging stand with both the Apple Watch and iPhone, or Belkin's even more robust and also outlandish looking MagSafe 3-in-1 charger that lets you charge an Apple Watch, AirPods and an iPhone all at once. Both seem to nudge us closer to a world in which the iPhone does not need to support lightning charging or any kind of wire charging whatsoever. And Apple is rumored to be working on a portless iPhone for just that reason. Removing the port would mean Apple could avoid, if it wanted to, Transitioning its smartphone line over to the USB-C standard it now uses on the MacBook and higher-end iPad. It would also allow the company to make devices even thinner using the same logic it employed when it removed the headphone jack. Waterproofing could become even more effective with fewer holes in your phone, especially if Apple can convince all cellular carriers to embrace an embedded SIM card instead of including a SIM slot in each phone. With MagSafe, Apple could present an alternative way to charge your phone entirely through wireless charging and whatever cables and adapters it may come up with to solve your on-the-go charging needs. But MagSafe won't really shine unless Apple gives it the spotlight and doing that by making a portless phone seems much more likely after that day's announcement. The big question, however, are whether consumers will find it as hostile as removing the headphone jack and whether Apple can convince enough of us that it really will make our life better to outweigh the inconvenience of ditching all the cables, chargers and other accessories we keep accumulating every time the iPhone undergoes a new change. Thank you so much for tuning in. Click the like button if you like the video. Share and subscribe if you want more content to come. Goodbye.